hello, welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. I think we're done with all our base prep, so let's go. Right. Just over the mountains. Ambush, eh? Hmm. <laughs> Randolph is all like, what about protocol? I can soar and you're like, time to beat your heads. Uh, Marhau range. But might be Marhout. I don't know if the T is silent or not. Actually, that is the best plan. Yes! Okay, so... No Lucius. Let's grab our dev dad. I think that'll work out for us. Let's see. We actually want to do some sort of crazy racing plan as well. Also, I th think it's at a Chiron. Uh, let's grab Sorin. Got another healer in on this stuff. Give him the other physics staff. That'll help us out a little bit. Just a tad, just a tad. I've also given Marcia the Sonic Sword. And, uh, she has the skill savior. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, okay. So, let's give this a go, shall we? So, we're gonna, we're gonna wait there. You're gonna save your Ike. Go right here. And then Rayson's gonna come up here and be like, Yeah, I sing for you. And, uh,. Oh, we we'll got some choices. We could go to the left and drop back off, or we could go to the right and drop back off. But, you know what? I don't give a fuck about driving out, dropping back off. I want to fly up right on the boss's face. Uh, even though they told us to kill the boss with the talking they were having about the strategy for running up the mountain, it's actually a route map. And the boss isn't very strong. He's got pretty good defense. Uh, his resistance is 8 points lower, though. He uses a bolt axe, which uh, is lightning elemental. So if you're using like Jill or something, or Har, it's super effective against them. Har's got some unique dialogue with this guy, but it's more or less, hey, you're that trash. And then this guy's like, I've always wanted to kill Shiorem or his unit or whatever. And Har's all like, well, now's your chance, bitch. You know what? I don't think she's, well, the, so the Sonic Sword's mount's going to double against him because he's flying. I think it'll be okay. We'll see. Not too certain. Can't quite reach racing. It's not good. Just no bueno. Here's what we'll do. We'll run Boyd beside him, and we will rescue Raisin. Because I'm dumb as hell and all that jazz. And uh, these two are going to team up, because I want them to. And, uh, is everyone here in front of a boulder? I think everyone here is in front of a boulder. can't hit my cat girl. See? What'd I tell you? What'd I tell you? I should have equipped Torneo with uh, one of his better weapons. 
rather than those javelins. I'm a dumb. Oh, here comes the boss. <laughs> oh, he actually hit Marsha. How about that? Oh, yeah, so she does 12 damage to the Song Sword. Uh oh, I think he's down to resolve range now. Dun dun dun. Of course, that also might have pushed him into heal AI. Although I think there's some healers with physics staffs on this map, so. Might not matter. Ow, oh, you shot me. Yeah, that was quite the uh, trebuchet maneuver. Ow. 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 Haha, <laughs> you're rolling over your own allies. Cause you're dumb. Ow. 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 Gosh. They've, they've dealt like a total of like 100 damage to my allies with all this tomfoolery. Oh, snap. Definitely should have equipped the Tornillo better. Forgive me, Gabriel, for I have sinned! At least he's getting some nice chippy XP. Oh no! Jeff Dan is being shot! Oh, but he's also dodging. Good job, Becca. Ooh, cat versus cat. I've only seen this like once or twice before. I believe in Leth. Do you believe in life after love? Ba, ba, ba. I can feel something inside myself. Da 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 Okay, can I please go? Can I please go? Okay, let's see. Steal, steal, steal. Steal, steal, steal. Okay, we don't want to go too crazy. Uh, we can just drop Ike right there and move Marsha back on down. I don't know if the, the, the boss will probably go for Ike. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay. Show him what's what, Mecha. Trigger Luna twice. Give, give him what for. Or don't trigger Luna at all. Okay, so. Uh, I'll take and drop. Seems logical, logical. Fancy, fancy. Also fancy.
Yeah, it'll, seem, 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 it'll, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Good stuff, good stuff. He is beauty, he is grace, he is Toro Neo in your face. Way to go! You cancel the sniper at point blank range. With your toe beans. Okay. And then Zoran said, I will kill you. Unless the man died. Was worth barely anything thing more than staff experience points. And just in case, uh, we'll give Marcia some healing. Some heal loving. Although I'm pretty sure everyone up there is gonna go for Ike. I mean boss wise, that is. Oh, it's gone into heal AI. Purge Dome! How about that? Oh no! Oh, she dodged. Oh, thank god. Oh, Tarneo takes another hit. But keeps on trucking. And this guy tries to hit Ike. And he succeeds and deals one damage. <coughs> Proving that Ike does not have enough defense yet. This guy also attacks Ike. And also does no damage. Or, well, actually does no damage. And then Ike one shots him. Such is life. <laughs> that guy ran all the way around. <laughs> Why did he run all the way around? <laughs> okay. All these promoted units came and charged at Ike, and this one unpromoted guy is like, Yeah, I'll get them too! I'll, I'll succeed where the promoted humans fail! Blank. Only give them 2 EXP. Oh, oh, 6 EXP. Don't mind if I do. They're really attacking Marsha. She's got the Sonic Sword, you know. It's like super effective against you, you know. I guess Marsh's magic stat's kind of crap, though. Uh-oh. Another halberdier. Ah, I love seeing Aether activate. Love the noise it makes. It's so satisfying. Please get speed, please get speed. HP and speed, HP and speed. Please, please, please. Yes! Oh! Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's hot. Oh. Good stuff, good stuff. No, 
erase him. Ow. That polar better not roll over race. Whew. Yes, attack Toronio with all your might. Uh, Lagoos are coming for Ike now. Ow, jerk. Maybe I should have brought a Lagoo Slayer. Totally gonna break the vague caddy, by the way. Be nice if it didn't break this turn and I got to hammer in it. But if it breaks, I don't really care. Oh, it's broken. Snap. Man, there was a lot of enemies in range of Ike up here. Is the silver blade broken or is that Raven just really fast? Raven's just really fast. Okay. Yeah, heal heal the people, race them, you beautiful hawk man or heron man. Okay, so we want to take out the Ballista. Uh, we'll do it with the Steel Blade, yeah, Steel Blade's fine. Okay, okay. Still getting the HP, still getting the HP. He needs the defense, too. Uh, he's, he's capped on strength and skill now, which is good. Uh, he literally needs a speed every level to cap speed now. I would really like for him to cap speed. I don't think he's going to, though. His defense cap is 24, uh, so that can happen. I think he needs... I think he still needs one more luck to not have... for the Black Knight to not have crit chance on him. Um... So that's a whole thing. It could be worse though. But now that the ballista is gone, we can uh, do silly things such as fry hawks with Janus. And uh, kill ravens with Marsha. Good job, Marsha. Oh, nice level, too. Let's bring her back down here so that she can, like, save your another unit or something. But like next turn or something. Let's see, let's move. Void some. And... Eh, let's see. Well, he, someone needs to heal. Freaking. Well, that was a corrosion proc, and that doesn't work on that goose. <laughs> If it did, it would be funny. Oh no, 
I broke a nail. All right, Tornio, get a kill. I believe in you. Get a mecha. Oh, now you activate Luna when you don't need it. These style points, I guess. No, I'm gonna okay with style points. Style points are good. I guess we could just use Raisin to make her go again, right? She could go kill that catapult guy. Because, like, why not? You know, he's just going to catapult us, and I don't want him to catapult us, because we're going to get boulders dropped on us again. <sighs> use the boat monkey up. Say, anyone need healing? Am I self conscious about anyone needing heals? The answer is no, not really. Ow. Although Ike might cause me concern. All these guys got two range. Although the physical guys really aren't a threat to him at this point. He's kind of flimsy against magic, but, like... Oh, right, the boss is still alive. Sorry, but at this point, I don't think you're in a position to teach me anything. Right, right, that boss that boss can actually damage him pretty good, because he's got magical axe. That's Lego Slayer. Well, Leth said, take your Lego Slayer and shove it up your ass. A cat girl, baby. Ooh, another Swordmaster versus Ike. Ooh, this one has a silver sword. Ooh, he actually did damage to Ike, and Ike can't double him because my Ike is slow as molasses. At a minimum, my, in order to actually fight with the Black Knight on any effective footing, uh, my Ike needs at least two more speed. I would prefer if he capped it, but that's starting to look rather unrealistic. You son of a bitch! Attacking my Pegasus man. There. I was hoping he would attack Void, but I guess she was still in range and she wasn't using her javelin. Uh -huh. Take that, you silly cat. Ah, you guys in your 1-2 range. If only I had a magical sword that scaled off of strength that could attack at 1-2 range. Oh, snap. This guy said, fuck, fight Nike. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna fight this chick. I guess the, yeah, the, the chick didn't kill him in a single round, so... Oh. Oh, it's the Ravens coming down for Tanith. Okay. 
Nice of you to give my girl some action. A lot of Ike crits. Okay, so as far as the boss goes, um, hmm. oh, this will be interesting. I think the boss is dead. <laughs> no resolve for you. No one on this earth can stand the might up against the might of our king, huh? Please get HP and speed. Please get HP and speed. Fuck you, Ike! Holy shit. Fuck you. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna have to give him the fucking Seraph robe now, probably. <sighs> okay. That was most unfortunate. But, could be worse, I suppose. At least I still have a couple, you know, like, I've got a Seraph robe or two, or something, you know. I can do a little bit about getting Ike good enough. Can't do a lot of it. Don't usually have this problem. But, uh... Well, this time I'm having this problem, it, it would seem. Let's see. Uh, yeah, why don't you just use the last boat monkey to kill this upstart thunder magician? Goodbye, boat monkey. You served me well. Good job, Marsha. Kind of funny, I don't think there's any, there's hardly any guys left to push boulders. I'm sure some of them still exist, but, like, there's no one to push a boulder right here. Like, technically my foot units can't even get up on this side. And, uh, I guess I'll send Dev down this way just in case, like, left D transforms or whatever. Oh, they've gone into heal AI. That bishop could just heal them, but no. Yeah, don't act like you're fast, Ike. You're slow as molasses. I'm seriously wondering why this guy is armed with a night killer. There's no way a horseman would ever reach him. Unless, like, you used nothing but horsemen and just, like, did this map as slowly as possible.
All right, purge boy. I'm gonna use the last of this silver blade on you. How do you feel about that? Use the hammer staff, you moron! doesn't need benefit anymore but yeah just to just to prove a point unless the enemy pushes this boulder down there's no way no way up after that so I guess we could help Tor Neo out he's not gonna get to fight anymore for this map but we'll see Running scared. Oop. Got a chill down my spine. Ow, jerk. Hey, stop going for Marsha. I guess it's because she's got low defense. Y'all are fours. Okay, so who should I go for? He's level 15, this guy's level 8. This guy's level 6. This guy's level 3. I'll go for the level 8 Swordmaster. Because he's probably worth the most, being a promote and all that. But also, uh, it's, I always like when Ike fights other swordsmen because there's like a sword duel in this game. He just always says to me, you know, Oh, Ike is getting better at swordsmanship. He's killed another swordsman, you know. No, boy, it's not gonna reach anyone. And you can push the boulders yourself, by the way. But like, why would why would you do that? You know, why would you why would you want your allies to get completely hosed? Oh yeah, we're actually making it up the mountain, even though these movements are practically pointless. Oh, you're attacking Boyd. Oh, okay, I guess he was in range. Nice to see Boyd get some action after Ike basically ate the map. Ate the map and didn't even get the speed he needs. It's okay, though. Okay. Oh, you missed. How about that? Fox Sword says, Die. And we win.
that's one of the shorter late game maps, at least if you treat it like that. Hey, 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 how come Ike's cape is red all of a sudden? Programmer, programmer, you have aired. Uh oh. Ooh, it's Tibarn. You remember Tibarn, right? Green Hawk Eagle thing. Got to see him fight in the Duke Tannis fight way back in Chapter 17. I thought I'd help you wipe out Dane. Not the only reason, huh? Let's meet the King of Lions. He wait for, waits for us at the foot of the mountain. Good stuff, good stuff. Soren's like, I'm not a kid. And Miss like, mm -hmm. story that involves your parents, huh? Okay, so he goes on off screen to explain everything about the fire emblem and his parents, and you know, Grail being Gawain. Stakes are higher, because it's not just about Crimea. Eight hundred years ago, there was a natural calamity, huh? King Dagentia and two other heroes fought alongside the goddess herself to defeat the Dark One. The Black Dragon King is a living fossil, and stubborn as anything alive. Do not flan, fan the flames of strife. As long as Lil Ron's medallion exists, you must never begin a war that engulfs the entire continent. King Goldoa said that a conflict which engulfs the entire continent would free the Dark God from the Medallion. Let us assume that the war would have such an effect on the Medallion no matter where it was or who possessed it. Let's also assume that the King of Dane thinks this as well. I can hear him now. Where is the tinder for the blaze I need? The answer to this question proved to be an easy one. He had to find a way to test his theory. So he attacked a neighbor in Crimea. It had to be Crimea. Binion was too big, too powerful. Dane would have lost. Crimea, however, is a country known more for its scholarship than its military strength. Dun dun. Is it racing? Is there a way to avoid all of this? We, that is, the descendants of Loran, we have a gift. Through the power of the Slumber Galder, we have the ability to suppress the chaotic energies of the Dark God and the Medallion. So even if a massive battle occurred, if it were in my position, I might be able to. Aw, oh, miss feeling bad. Sorry, for what? Leanne's been kidnapped. Ashnar doesn't know. Dun dun dun. And now we get to save it. <sighs> 
Let's see. Hmm. I guess I can save over this one. It's just sort of sad. It was my first recording attempt, and I got a perfect level up in that one. But the recording attempt was flawed. Crimean army possesses three times the fighting power that it did when it left Binyan. Uh oh, the Dane forces are comparable in number. Fort Pinnell and Nado's castle. How these two tests their face will mightily affect the course of the war. Chapter 26 Clash! Rock the Caspa, rock the Caspa. Cry me, I don't like it. Da, 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 da. Rock the Caspa. So, Crimea and Gallia finally joined forces, have they? Half breeds and humans fighting side by side. How sweet. In addition, it seems the incident with the Heron Princess has brought more Phoenicians to the struggle as well. Oh, the Hawk King is getting involved, eh? Which means that the Crimean's army's strength of arm is all but equal to our own, and growing daily. Of course, this pathetic ragged band is still no match for our superior leadership and skill. Things are getting interesting, are they not? I'm, but I'm still unsatisfied. Divide our army into two by ten battalions and send one to meet the Crimeans. And who will be in charge of that battalion? Bertram. Bertram? Does that bother you? Well, then perhaps I should leave it to you and see what happens. <laughs> Do you believe I would betray you? I believe your heart has considered it. Surely you jest. I will divide our forces and see that they march to Crimea under Bertram's command. Is this satisfactory? I leave it to you, good Sir Knight. One other thing, Your Majesty. In my absence, did you order the death of Enna? 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 Oh yes, her. I'd forgotten about that one. I lost all interest in her when she failed to hold Dane's capital, you know. I've no use for failures. Yes, yes, I remember it now. I ordered General Petrine to take care of her. Ha! Another failure under my command. I told Petrine that if the task was beyond her, capturing it would be enough. Why do you ask? According to one of General Petrine's men, they have indeed captured Inna. But with the General's death, they're unsure what to do with her. I wish to receive your instructions. Do you still wish to see her killed, or have you changed your mind? Do as you will, I care not. However, do not bring her into my presence. When that one is near, Region seems to grow restless. As you wish. Oh, so we're doing some tacticians. Okay, so we're in the Mauhaut range still. And, uh, Pinnell and Nado's Castle. Both holds were built to guardian our fair land, but now Dane rules them both and knows of us. With rations set, they could hold out a year. Say what you will of Dane and her foul plans. One must admire her skill in things of war. Come now, Bastion, why would you praise our foe? I do but speak the mean of it, good sir. The truth is harsh, but lies would be worse still. Pinnell and Nados are fairly close to one another. I doubt they would express us to attack both at once, but that seems to be a waste of our strength, and we don't want to get ambushed from the rear while attacking. We cannot divide our army, but we could send a small force to attack the base with weaker defenses and keep it occupied. At the same time, the main army can focus on the other one and conquer it. I see. So which one has more soldiers? That would be Fort Pinnell. Very well, then the main army will lead an assault on Fort Pinnell. Meanwhile, I'll take my army and a unit of or so of galleons and set out for Castle Nados. We'll launch an attack, and when they come out to meet us, we'll retreat. Then we'll attack again, and we'll keep them busy. That should give us the time we need. We'll take care of our front by day's end. Let's go capture a fort. It's settled, then. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I got MVP for once. How about that? Alright, do we get any special info? Got a soldier. Uh huh. Let's say I was faced with an undefeatable enemy. In that case, what should I, as the weaker fighter, do? Should I try to avoid slowing down other better fighters in retreat, or do I sacrifice myself and try to at least land a single blow on the opponent? Okay, simply run away.
Oh, go back to basics. Nah, I think you still need a little bit of luck to barn. What if they've got Danes that can do the triangle attack or something? Huh, but all the goos possess it to some degree, hey? The power is distributed something like this. Among the bird tribes, it's very strong in the Heron clan. Among the beast tribes, I've heard it's most developed in the cat clan, though not as strongly as herons. The dragon tribes, but said they may be equal to or even surpass the strength of the herons. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, he can get a beal racing now. Let's see. I could be quiet. If you were anyone else, I'd punch you in the nose and make you be quiet. I know how to punch, although I suffer more damage than my target. What? When I bashed Duke Tannis' face, he only suffered a bloody nose, but it cracked the bones in the back of my hand. Indeed. But it felt good, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Oh, Mist and Void can finally get an ace support. How about that? That's definitely a thing that's on my list. Oh, she's crying. Oh, she's overwhelmed. Oh. Oh. Rather sweet. Okay. Let's see. Award EXP. No, we don't need to be dipping into that yet. But I am going to go ahead and even though it's technically a partially a waste, there's really no one better to give it to. Um, as far as the Seraph robe goes. Like we could give it to anyone else, right? And they would they would benefit from it. Um, but I want Ike to be at maximum HP. I want him to be as beefy as possible for the Black Knight. And literally, if he doesn't get two more speed in the next five levels, like, I don't know what I'm gonna do, because <laughs> he'll be able to fight, it's just not gonna be pretty. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and use this. Cap his HP. It's not ideal, but he just didn't want to get HP last you know, when he should have. Give me that steel blade. Give me that steel blade too. I've got all the steel blades. We'll conserve the brave sword. We'll use the steel blades in the next map. And then as far as Boyd goes, let's see. Uh, the bolt axe is not a good idea for him. His magic is very low. We got any, uh... Oh, yeah, we do. Okay. Put that on you. I think this ought to be enough, uh... Hand axes. Let's get it, get it equipped in the right way, though. There we go. Yeah. We should be able to send Boyd out in the next map, and he should be able to be a complete terror on the battlefield. Uh, his defenses are low, but with Vantage and Adept, he should be triggering uh, Vantage every time he gets attacked. And then he won't one-shot a lot of stuff, but he has a chance to trigger Adept as well as Vantage. So if he does, he should kill things. It should be fine. Okay, let's see. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, and trade the fog over to Ike, and then she'll use the hammer urn on it, and Ike will trade it back to her. And then let's see. There's horsemen on this map, I know that much. So let's take that long sword, I guess. Where can what can we all can we steal? Uh, you know what? South can take Bastion Stiletto. Give me that. And he can give those chest keys to somebody else. We're not going to need them in this next map, but the map afterwards we will. And then... Let's see... I think... I want to forge... I don't know, probably a throwing spear for for Mecha, maybe? It's really hard to beat having uh, 1 to 2 range. And we'll name it... Uh... Pitfall. There we go. And we'll make it yellow, golden, to match. I think I'll hammer in the mecha as well. It doesn't really matter what you use the hammer in on. Uh, just as long as you make sure to actually use it. Then we'll save. And then next time we'll start the battle. And this battle is going to be interesting because we're going to get a unit that we have to protect that's also a game over condition. And we'll get it right at the start of the battle, and it'll be very fragile, and you'll see that when it comes. So until then, stay safe, have a great day, and I'll see you again.